I would like to share a snippet of my relationship with my mother-in-law who lies here today. A 30-year relationship is very hard to cram into a minute. But the 30 years I was with my mama, there was no altercation, there was no bad eye exchanged between us, there was no bad word said between us. It was indeed a unique relationship. My last conversation with her, my mother always used to call me Khanawanje, which means my girl in our language. But my last conversation, when she talked to me, she called me Mwanawanje, my child. I felt like I had graduated with so many PhDs. <laughs> anyway, our vote of thanks is a tad long because we have received so much goodwill from people across the board. I would first like to thank the doctors and all the staff who looked after Mama while she was at the Nairobi Hospital, and all other doctors and staff who have looked after her for the whole time she was sick. All friends who called, visited, or prayed with her family while Mama was sick, we all would have wished to see her stay with us on this part of life for a little longer, but we believe that she has gone to a better place as one who knew God. Her work here on earth is over. Her spiritual leaders, especially the leadership of the family of the Friends Church, that provided Mama Hana with spiritual nourishment and foundation, which influenced her focus on priorities in life as she related with others and raised her children. All through her sickness, she remained strong and steadfast in her faith. All her friends far and wide who have sent in tributes, called or visited the family members in Nairobi, up country and everywhere else where family members are present, expressing support to the family and joining them in celebrating a life well lived. We shall forever treasure your acts of kindness and pray for God's favor upon your lives. Thank you. The funeral committee members who came together to provide leadership, both at home here in Mululu and in Nairobi, in organizing the final send-off of Mama. You have stood with us during our moment of weakness, and we pray that God stands with you in your moment of need. The media houses in standing with our family and even offering free or discounted services including the publishing of Mama's obituary in the papers. Special mention goes to the standard newspapers, the Star and Nation Media Group, the various service providers who have gone beyond the call of duty and served with their hearts in spirit in giving Mama a decent send-off. Special mention goes to Wonder Joy, who have walked with us from Nairobi into Mululu, I think now Wanda Joy knows a little bit too much about our family, but anyway, thank you. A special mention, too, goes to the airlines and companies that provided transport for family members and guests. Appreciation goes to the security who managed in maintaining order in both our Nairobi and our rural home. A special mention to my kitchen mamas who got into my kitchen and took care of so many things that I could not have personally handled. And here I would like to mention a few ladies who marched into my kitchen, even here in the rural, in rural Kenya, and took charge. Mejuma Mbaruku, Suleka Dwale, Elizabeth Ware, Julie Kihara, and Frida Cheng. Thank you very much for stepping in and filling that gap. The political leadership of this country that has stood with the family from across the political divide in the real spirit of building bridges. Mama has indeed helped to bring home the message that politics should not divide us, but should help build a stronger, cohesive society in which leaders are truly servants. The county government of Vihiga, under the leadership of Governors Wilbur Otichilo, thank you for the great support in ensuring that appropriate infrastructure is put in place to receive visitors under COVID-19 pandemic guidelines and protocols. 
The government of Kenya, under the leadership of Mr. President, mm. thank you very, very much for standing with Honorable Musalia Mudabadi and his entire family during this very trying moment and helping to provide moral and logistical support during the final send-off of Mama. Thank you. Last but not least, we thank God who gave us Mama Hannah and into whose hands she has gone back to. We thank him for giving us special grace to go through such moments so that with the comfort we receive, we are able to comfort others. I end the vote of thanks by reciting one of her favorite verses. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. This is Palms 23, 1 to 3. Thank you, Mama, for being such a wonderful mother-in-law. I shall truly, truly miss your hand that quietly held mine for 30 years. Rest in peace.